Hello there, great person, and welcome to a new chapter of The Wheel of Time, The Great Hunt. This time we will tackle a chapter called... Let me see... The Dragon Reborn. Oh, great. So we are, we are gonna be seeing whether Rand will meet the Emelon Seed with, with all the stuff that Rand told him, or if he will make a fool of himself, but... Chapter symbol is the symbol of the dragon reborn of the male side of the power. It's the dragon's tooth. So let's see what will happen. And he's uh, going through the corridors and everyone's still alert. Children are even carrying play swords and yeah, it's not so good. Yeah, and Kajin now is uh, uh, screaming. <laughs> true blood of my kid, true blood of Manethrin. But isn't Mormet that is the true blood of Manethrin? Yeah, and Lan says, Taishar Shinar, yeah. Okay, now Lan is giving him commands. Ed crosses the courtyard, and Rand is doing a pose now. Yeah, and uh, Rand thinks that they will turn them away because they have swords. Nope, mate, you're in trouble now. You're not, though, but he thinks he's in trouble. Oh, and two ladies will escort them. Not servants, but really ladies. Okay, so this is quite a high-profile procession now. I mean, it was before, but... Was Liane... Uh, or Liany, whatever she's pronounced in the bo uh, in the show. I don't remember her because she has a really cool design with her stuff. And I am sure I would have remembered someone with a staff because I love staffs. Ah, yeah, and it is uh, alluded again that Greens <laughs> like to marry men or bond them, you know, what is bond. But that, I mean, that makes sense because um, Greens fight more. They have to have... Waters. They, I mean, it's probably always better to have a water than. <laughs> and Leanne is like, "This is supposed to be a shepherd land. What did you, what did you do?" <laughs> yeah, Leanne really life hacked him here. I really love that. Yeah, and I think what I really like about this because he is the dragon reborn and. The, the contrast to the false dragons I get from this, and I might be wrong because I haven't really seen them in the book, um, that, okay, Lo uh, Loghain might be an exception to this a bit, but they proclaim themselves the dragon, they say, yeah, I'm the dragon, I'm the dragon, but he feels like it probably to the others, even though it's Lance life hacking here, but also perhaps a bit of uh, Rand himself uh, that is doing this. Yeah, and Len has to go away because Moraine has a special task. What is that? Uh, telling Matt and the others what they have to do, that they have to hunt the horn now? I mean, to be fair, Matt always wanted to do that. All, way, all through the last book, I think he wanted to hunt the stupid horn, and now he can do it. I might misremember that, though. Don't, don't uh, hold me to that, but I think that was it a bit. I mean, I think Matt said it more than once, that he liked the, the horn stuff. And it's in his prophecy from Min, so. She sounded almost amused. She certainly did not look amused. <laughs> yeah, three acid air. How many does it take to gentle a man? They send a dozen or more after Loghain. <laughs> so good. By your leave, mother, I will stand. The watch is not done now. Have you, uh, have you, have you let Lan talk to him, Moraine? Have you really done that? Oh, God. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's like, oh, God, Lan, why? I don't care for this stuff. Okay, yeah, Varen is here as well. Or it's uh, Seraphella, and Varen's already gone, but... Um, yeah, and... Uh, 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 yeah, they say, yeah, the waters are useful, and I... Uh, some reds even sometimes want them. Um, though, yeah, that is like... It would be weird if a red had one. But it, must, it might work. 
and it might make for a very interesting read of personality wise and, and story wise I think it would be cool to meet a red one with a water down the line that has something special about her or whatever and that might be very interesting to explore okay so Moraine just gave exposition on Rand's backstory and uh, Rand did not know some of this stuff wow An infant boy, she doesn't say his son, but I am. Yeah, you are. Yeah, and, and, and Swan now says, yeah, those were ugly wars, but it was because stupid idiots fought stupid idiots, basically. Yeah, and she says to Varen, so Varen is alive still. I like that. Uh, yeah, test it. Is it the real deal? Yeah, and the Emblem Seed flat out tells him now, after she's had had enough of the land stuff, because land, <laughs> land, it's probably so, so uh, weird when Swan meets land when he's with Moraine. She's probably the way this is written. She's very, very, um, yeah, tired of land, and she like asks Rand, "Yeah, do you want to accompany Mad and Perrin to look for the horn?" Yeah, and okay, so Gwen and Nynaeve and Moraine will come with Swan and they will go to the tower and it will probably be a lot of tower politics stuff. I like that. Which makes it, yeah, in the show, this is going to be very interesting because Moraine was banished randomly from Babylon. Yeah, so he has a choice. Stay here and like sulk in his own misery or go with, with uh, Matt and Perrin to hunt for the horn. Which <laughs> he glanced at Moraine sitting Im impassively with her hands folded in her lap. She looked as if nothing in the world could concern her less than where he went. Which way are you trying to push me? <laughs> he knows that he's being played by her. It's so funny. Burn me, but I'll go the other way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he chooses to ride with Inkta, yeah. So we have more Inter in this book. I love that. So we will have some more Scottish accents, I guess. But I probably will not be able to pull it off, so I might not do it. I know you can channel, boy. What do you know? <laughs> ah, and she leans forward, but he had the impression she wanted to lean back to... Yeah, she is afraid of it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and... Swan basically tells him, yeah, you, you don't want to channel, you have to channel, otherwise you'll burn up and you have to control it. Implying that she doesn't want to still him. Uh, gentle him, oh god, I got, I'm gonna get those two confused a lot. Can't you understand? I want to stop, he says to the emblem seed. Yeah, I mean, that's the right thing. And he, he's also different from the others in that he doesn't want to channel, he doesn't want the power he's given, the others want just power. The other false dragons. I like that a lot. I mean, I understand why he doesn't want because he was brought up that way that it was all bad and evil, but also he doesn't want, he doesn't want the consequences of power and of responsibility, and he has to learn that. I love that. A bird cannot teach a fish to fly, nor a fish teach a bird to swim. Yeah, Moraine is being philosophical again, but now Varen comes in because we love Varen now. I mean. I, I love Varen already so much, so she says, I have always thought that was a bad saying. <laughs> there are birds that dive and swim, and in the sea of storms are fish that fly, with long fins that stretch out as wide as your outstretched arms, and beaks like souls that can pierce. Her words trailed off and she became flustered. Moraine and the Emelon Seed were staring at her without expression. <laughs> yeah, Varen, give it to him. Yeah, and he's now manifesting the flame in the void again. Ah, and and he's he's like, why are you telling me this? You should shouldn't you be gentling me? And she's completely ignoring him. So Swan is saying, who taught him the flame stuff? Was it Lan? And Moraine says, no, it was his father. Or oh, no, 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 no. He learned it from Tamal Thor. So he can't. She can't say he's the father because that would be a lie, perhaps. 
Ah, and now she flat out tells him, you are the Dragon Reborn. Yeah. You can gentle me or kill me or let me go, but I will not be the tame false dragon on a tavern on leash. Yeah, you think that's what it's about? I mean, to be fair, that's that's a fair assumption on his part, though. No, no, you are the real one. Yeah, so the other f dragons or false dragons are Raul in Darkspain, Guer, Amalasin, or Yurian Stonebow, yeah. Who told you Tavalon posted the lines on any false dragon? Yeah. Tom Marilyn told me, oh. Moraine made a sound. Why? I am a shepherd from the Two Rivers, mother. Daughter, tell him the story. A true story, boy. Listen well. Yeah, because the rest of the day they will tell the truth. Now we get lore time, I hope. And Moraine began speaking. Rand kept his eyes on the emblem seat's face, but he heard. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, so the A Aiel, and I don't know why they did it, but this, they suddenly snapped and, like, swept over the land and burned down Kerhian and uh, even got to Tavalon. Why, though? Yeah, so all they wanted to do was king, kill King Laman of Kerhian uh, for his sin against the tree. Yeah, and it was probably because he really, really, really did um, insult them. So he probably fled to Tavalon because he thought, yeah, I'll be, I'll be safe there. But he did not make it completely or they shut the doors in front of him so he couldn't get in. And that's why they were there then. Makes sense. So the king apparently liked the Aesodai. I, I, I assume from this, or at least he valued them enough to go to them for help. That's what I read here, but I might be wrong. Yeah, now he remembers Tam's story complimenting this. Um, they and Moraine and I'm um, uh, and Swan were not or uh, not sisters yet. So they were and they were with the Emmeline because they stood in attendance. So they probably were like cleaning her chamber or whatever, or like were given to her to whatever. I don't know, but learn something, I guess. And the yeah, Guitarra Moroso was there. The Keeper of Chronicles. And I think that was in the show as well that she had a prophecy then. Yeah, and every other sister was out and healing. Yeah. Even the rats were healing. Wow, must have been really a clusterfuck. Yeah, and uh, oh, I love it. It's always Tam's lines are interwoven with this when he was delirious. Ah, oh, God, I love Tam. Okay, the Carathian cycle, the prophecies of the dragon, says that the dragon will be reborn on the slopes of Dragon Mount, where he died during the breaking of the world. Will the dragon always be reborn in the place he died? Or, you know, the soul that the dragon... So, so the, the, the thing that is inside the Theron, whatever, is reborn. So if you are reborn, will you re be, uh, re be reborn at the same place or not? Probably not. Might be special. By the way, so Esedai can age. We have seen a streak of uh, gray in Liena's, I think, hair. Was it Liena or was it Varen? And we have here an old Esedai with uh, hair as white as snow. Um, so they can die, but they are staying young. And so how old can they be? I'm a bit, that's a bit confusing. When, when do they die? Why would they die? Okay, and yeah, the Emlyn seed was there, and Guitarra's, Guitarra was like, He is born again, I feel it. Dragon takes his first breath on the slope. Out there, he's out there, get him! I don't know. He lies in the snow and cries like this thunder, he burns like the sun. And she fell forward into my arms, Dad. I think that wasn't the show I forgot, but ooh. that is something. That is something in the show they should have done in the flashback as well. That would be so weird. Yeah, and, and Tam is, again, Tam's lines are interwoven with this. I was born in the two rivers. I am Randall Thor. And so we knew the dragon was reborn. Okay, and the old Amelon Siege swore in Swan and Moraine 
to look for the boy. And they were sworn in by the Emlon Seed. And that one probably, yeah, I mean, they were the same color. It was uh, the same Arja. And uh, the the older one has to have, uh, so the Emlon Seed before this one has to have died. I wonder how that happened. And they heard the man and the infant boy in search and searched. Yeah. You will be of the ancient blood and raised by the old blood. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. And she knew that Rand could channel, or one of them could channel when she met them at Eamon's Field. And yeah, that was it. She knew. Yeah, and he still thinks they're using him because he's in denial. Yeah, he's so in denial. When the winds of Tarmon guide on scour the earth, he will face the shadow and bring forth light again in the world. Prophecies must be fulfilled. Or the Dark One will break free and remake the world in his image. Yeah. But Baal's Amon is dead, if you believe that you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I would have told him the same. Yeah, it is your destiny to face the Dark One. We knew. So, but he faced them, has faced him already once, don't they know that? Still confused. I'm still so confused why they don't know that he already fought him. Or do they know and it just wasn't brought up? Place it on your feet. Yeah, that's what Ren, Len, that's what Len meant. That's so good, yeah. Yeah, only those three know he's the dragon now. Yeah. And and the others will be, be brought to her as well, so to cover it up. Yeah, nice, nice, nice one. Good, good, good on you. You Moraine probably planned that to be fair. Yeah, and they have to because if they don't let him walk through and the red will uh gentle him, the world is doomed because the prophecy said so. That's yeah. At least they're intelligent about that. By your leave, mother, may I depart this place. I give you leave to go, my son. Yeah. Yeah, I will not be used, he says, and left. Wow, what a scene. Great. Yeah, Varen is on their side now because she knows the prophecy. The prophecy, I mean, yeah, because the Browns seem to be quite intelligent, all of them. So I kind of expected it from, from Varen that she would go like, yeah, I mean, it's the prophecy. We can't do anything. Even if we have the urge to, because that would F us over so badly that we can't even, yeah, we would be gone, all of us. Yeah. Afterwards, we will do as we must, yeah. So, they are planning on gentling him after. <laughs> after he beat the Dark One. Thank you, sister. Yes, but when he learns to channel the light, of us all. Yeah, because he's so strong. There was a storm coming, Nynaeve felt it, so we are back with Nynaeve. Okay, and Nynaeve feels something wrong in the wind. And yes, there was the wind from the mountains of the Hoom, and um, so she might be the one to get what it is. There is a storm and there isn't, it means something, but what? Yeah, things are getting bad. Yeah, if there was a stone that was not a storm, Rand would, would be the center of it. Nynaeve is right. Of course she is. And she's going after him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he's shocked and running away, and Nynaeve saw it and asks Nisura where he went, but she, she says, I don't know. Yep, bad. Came out as fast as if he had half Spain himself at his heels. Tell me, Nynaeve, is he really a prince in your land? <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to know. Yeah, and she's worried for him. Wow, I love her. Yeah, and Ma Mavara Melon is now uh, the, the boss of the wisdom, or the, the replacement wisdom. Oh, okay, she's the wisdom from the village next to them. Yeah, okay, okay, Devon Wright. Yeah, I, I see, I'm stupid, yeah. Yeah, but she didn't tell them what uh, uh, whether Rand was the Lord. She just went away. She hated the fact that she could never sneak up on Len. However softly she stepped, yeah, they are still at it. 
Yeah, and she's trying to tell her why he's not suited for her. And uh, yeah, he's never cruel. Yeah, Moraine has everything I want the light burn her. Wow, she's getting jealous. Hmm. Yeah, and, 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 and then tries to tell her again that he has nothing to offer but widow's clothes. That's a wow, that's a powerful statement. What a what a great line. I told you I had nothing to offer for bright price but widow's clothes. Wow. And she says, in any case, a king does not give gifts to village women. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You should understand it a bit, but he's also a bit dense. The dark one take Randall for on the ambulance. He both, he grated, pressing something into her hand. I will make you a gift and you will take it if I have to chain it around your neck. Oh, he, he had a gift for her. What? Yeah. Oh, he gave her the ring of Marchieri, king. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, he gives her guest right everywhere she wants. Oh. Oh, this is such a sad love story. I hope it will have a happy end. Send it to me or, or a message marked with it and I shall come to you without delay and without fail. Wow, it's like he's, it's almost like he's engaged to her now. And, you know, he's not, but, yeah, very, very big symbol. If I cry now, I will kill myself. No, you won't, Nani. Yeah, they will go together to Tavalon, at least that. I like that. Mash Yara, he called her, beloved of heart and soul. It meant, but a love lost too. Oh, that's so sad. It's so sad. Oh God, guys, why are you doing this to me? Uh, I hope they find their happiness together because they really, really have great chemistry and the show as well. Their relationship is one of the best parts of the show. Oh, and now suddenly Moraine. Yeah, and now Moraine tells Nanif not to worry because they have a plan. And she tells her a bit of the plan. I should have gotten the boys away from you, she said, still looking out. Nope, I think that's okay. I went too if I could do it without killing her. Light, why did she have to be born with this cursed ability? Yeah. If your own use of power is not schooled, you will never be able to use it against me. Moraine knows that she's... Yeah. Well, as you wish it, I take it that you are coming to Tavalon. Yes, I thought so. And he wanted to hit her. <laughs> what possible interest could the Emlyn seed have in a shepherd? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nanif, she's a bit farther ahead of you in case of playing body chess in 16 dimensions. Wow. Yeah. She really is out for Moraine. I did not notice it. It's probably built up more and more through her journeys and her time with Rand and Madden Perrin and she's like, for what you did to them, I will end you and everything you've ever loved. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and especially Rand. She really cares for Rand and Madden Perrin a lot. And herself, yeah. So, yeah. And she's also, yeah, she will be against Moraine a lot probably later on because she took land from her so to speak, he was already Moraine's, but you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, she 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 blames so Nynaeve blames her for everything, even though that's a bit stupid because Averin stuff. I mean, you can't do anything against that. Ooh, Egwen, Egwen, watch, Egwen, watch. We have got an Egwen chapter perspective again. Ah. Uh... Is it the first one? It is the first one, isn't it? Yeah, so Egwen and Nynaeve have dresses from Amelisa and they are preparing to leave. Oh, Egwen knows. She's thinking about Len. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> and he was acting strange because she's in love with Lana de Gwenno. Oh, that is good. Yeah, she loves him and I can see he loves her, so why can't he have sense enough to speak up? Yeah, because he's bonded to Moraine. Yeah, you shouldn't call me wisdom any longer. You are a woman now, Nanif said, yeah. Yeah, and she's not... Yeah, I, I see. So she's keeping it unbraided because of a symbol of her new life. I like that. So it has every so we will probably get a lot more purpose behind her actions because she's been very Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't really understand what she was about. Sometimes I could, I think, but this is giving me hopefully a bit more insight into her way of thinking. We are just women now. That's basically what she's saying. Yeah, they are. But they are friends. Yeah, and I think Rand wants now to say goodbye. Yeah, and now she wants to talk to him alone. But she'll never housebreak Len, yeah. She changed, I like that. And if, where's she headed? I, I, I feel like I don't know anymore. Yeah, only the green archer get wet. Okay, so, yeah. Rand had been all but promised to her since they were children. Oh, interesting. That's what she thinks. Yeah. For her, it was clear, I think. Yeah. Wow. So, her feelings for Rand are, have been clearer than the other way around, I think. Wow. I didn't think that. But that explains why she's acting strange sometimes towards him. Because for her, it was obvious what he would have to do, because for her, it was clearer that they are together. Wow, that is interesting. I already like it so much to see her perspective on this. Yeah, <laughs> so they think Rand wanted to go into the women's room again. So he was apprehended by, or he was uh, stopped by Agelmaur and uh, by whom else? Kajin, yeah. Do not let the horn seize you, Rand, because it's like the ring. It will take hold of you. Yeah. Yeah. Here is your Wayne. Yeah. Okay. She listened to that, and now she knows that Rand is really, really adamant on seeing, seeing her and saying goodbye. So the women have their own quarters, and men are not allowed in, and they are the women rule. Interesting. An interesting. Uh, Interesting idea there that uh, they do it there because they are they are more so the women and men are more more apart in Faldara. That's interesting, yeah. Yeah, so now they can can now they can talk. Yeah, now they are talking finally. Moraine being a badass. Moraine said she would have left me a headache for being foolish if she could have healed the rest and not that, but she couldn't. <laughs> yeah. I told you Fane was dangerous. Yeah, you did. Yeah, Rand doesn't want to be used. I suppose I'll never see you again. Wow. Yeah. And she says to her, I can't be with you when you are an SDI because they are using me and I'm sick of that. Yeah, and she says, I will become an SDI and I will try to help you and I will do everything to do that. Promise me you won't choose Red Ardra. Yeah, wow. Oh, she says she loves him. Oh. No, no, she, he said it. Oh, God. Or she's imagining it because she wishes for that so much. Yeah, take care of yourself. You, you will have it, Lomox. Light, take care of him. Yeah. Oh, that was sad. Oh, God, that chapter was really sad again. Why? I hate goodbyes. That's my Achilles heel. Hate goodbyes always makes me very teary. But... We're through it, and we are now on our ways. We got our first Gwen chapter. She really 
I think she's more grown up than Rand, even though she's still quite naive in parts. I love her. And let's see where everyone now goes. And we will probably see training this book, perhaps. I hope they reach Tavalon. It's not that far. I mean, how much can happen on that little trip on the map? Hope not much. I just want to see Acidai training in Tavalon. Um, and yeah, the others are going hunting. So we've got two parties again. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider liking and sharing the video perhaps to other interested people. I don't know. And uh, whatever. Most important thing. Hope that you are safe and uh, take care of yourself. See you soon. Bye.